Hello, 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 and welcome to the Be A Brilliant Human podcast with me, Joel Young. I'm delighted that you're here. Something a bit different for you today. We are at, by the way, episode number 145, which means you can find the show notes if you go to www.beabrillianthuman.com slash 145. So I've been trawling through some of my archives, videos from time past, and back in 2011, I was doing a lot of satsang, and satsang is kind of one of those things. If you've been around the spiritual block, you'll probably have heard of it. Um, basically sitting in a room and having conversations in truth. Literally the word satsang means in the company of truth. And so uh, in March of 2011, I was in Spain, and I was doing a satsang there. And I thought I would include in this episode, first up a meditation that I did at the beginning of that, and also a section of it where I'm working with someone to look at the blocks to receiving love, which I hope you find helpful. Now, on a note with the meditation, if you are listening to this, say, in a car or while working, while working on heavy machinery, probably best to skip past the meditation and wait until you can sit and enjoy it. It is kind of an experiential thing. There's spaces of silence, well, at least with background noise, um, uh, in within the meditation it is a meditation so just so you know after the intro there's about well there's literally 14 minutes and 39 seconds of meditation and then we get into the conversational satsang so if you're watching on youtube i will put a timestamp in the description there'll be chapters in the description and you can skip straight to uh, the receiving love section um, if you want to not sit with the meditation. Watching meditations is not a scintillating reading. It's an experiential thing. So I hope that you have benefit of doing that. All right, without further ado, here we go. Cast back in a time machine. Um, after the intro, I'll see you in Spain in 2011. <laughs> Welcome to the Be A Brilliant Human podcast with me, Joel Young. If you're looking to improve your life, to heal, to grow and mature as an individual, but maybe you found that some of the personal development and consciousness stuff has given you the impression that you need to be super serious and vigilant to get anywhere meaningful or feeling like maybe you're just not up to snuff. Well, this show is here to remind you of your humanity and in fact that that's where your true joy and brilliance lies. With over 25 years of experience in the transformation biz and having developed MPA, one of the world's simplest pressure-free approaches to growth and well-being, if I do say so myself, I'll be sharing tips, steps and insights that'll help you navigate all the aspects of life as a growth-seeking being. On this show, it comes to you with a good dose of humour, maybe a smattering of colourful language, a reminder not to take things so personally, and most importantly, to be kind to yourself along the way. Make sure you hit that follow button, and let's get into it. So let's start by closing our eyes. Let's take a deep breath in. Sign it out. Another deep breath in. Sign it out. Huge breath in. Huge sigh out. Perfect. And let's start by letting go. Just let go. Let go of the reins of your breath. And allow yourself to be breathed. In the letting go, the breath can find its own natural pace and rhythm. It knows exactly when to come in how deeply to come in, when to pause, when to begin an out-breath, when to end an out-breath.
And your entire job in all of this is to simply notice and allow whatever's here. To simply become aware. the sensations, the experiences. The feelings, the thoughts. Whatever in fact is being experienced. there was nowhere to go with this, nothing to do with this, right now was the life purpose you've been seeking <clears throat> just to be this now
the silence we get to meet our inner expression. Discover our relationship with it. Two, the uncomfortableness of that time of signature. 
But right now, right now, you just drop the whole story of how that love isn't here for you. That acceptance isn't here for you. Drop the whole story of, of this inconvenience, of how you help inconvenience as other people. And just, just say yes to love. Right now. It's a shame the boss isn't in here as well. <laughs> and again, I'm going to bring you back because there's the mind going to go to the pain. That's, that hurts. It doesn't hurt me, it hurts you. So the invitation is to is to come. And I know that there's reasons that were good in the past that you need to go away from the love. For what was perceived or was presented as love. And yet right now, here it is. It was difficult to turn around. Yeah. It's new, you know what it's like? It's like this. Sometimes life throws you into the silage pit. <laughs> and you're swimming through the crap. <laughs> and there's all you can do just to keep afloat. And then in the blindness of all the crap over your face, you find there's a stick. <coughs> and you pull yourself up out of the sludge and you cling on for dear life. <coughs> and you're shaking and you're holding and then the sun comes out and it dries and cakes all that crap over you. But you somehow feel a lot safer than you did. All you have is your eyes to look around. And mostly what you see is all the shit down there. But here's what happens, is you get out of the corner of your eye, you catch the edge of the silage container. Now you have a choice. But it's not an easy choice. Because you realize, hmm, salvation. This is going to require me to crack off this safe security, become quite wobbly, and dive back into the crap. And swim to the edge possibly swallowing along the way. <laughs> now what you need to ask yourself is, even though I might have to swim through that for a moment, because you may have been there for years when it's a 30 second swim, why would you choose to go there, even though it might be a problem? And when you find that motivation, then, then you look into these people's eyes and let it in. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> so an inquiry question works like this. You ask the question, you wait, do nothing, let the answer find you. What would motivate you? Why would you choose to take the risk of dropping the barriers to let love in just for a moment. <laughs> and you know what? You're a beginner in this. Again, you're a beginner. So it's okay if you look and then you fall down back in. You can just look up and look again. And it's going to be like a little child, you know, and say, 
when you get up and you look in, we're going to say, yay. When you fall on your ass, we're going to say, yay. You still have <laughs> This episode is sponsored by The Harmony Equation, our live online workshop where you get to discover the world's simplest tool for resolving conflict and help your clients find harmony. Now, if you've got clients that seem stuck, blocked and unable to move past certain issues, then chances are they have unresolved conflict and the approaches you've been using so far haven't hit the spot. Well, you're gonna love this event and you and your clients will love the truly unique, powerful and effortless way you can guide them to the resolutions they need once you have this tool in your hands. In fact, the work you'll learn at the event is so magical, I use it with nearly every client. As Ronnie, a previous attendee says, you've created something very special and made it a simple and effective tool to cut out the complexities we add to our lives. The work you're doing really resonated with me and the work I'm now doing with my clients. So if you're a healer, a therapist, a coach, or do any kind of change work with clients, then this is an incredible tool to add to your skill set. So head over to www.thenpaacademy.com slash harmony and grab your spot today. That's thenpaacademy.com slash 
Harmony to get all the details and join the Harmony Equation today. Thanks so much for listening. If you've enjoyed this show, I'd love you to do me a solid and tell someone about it. They can find us on Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, and most other podcast platforms. Plus, if you visit the website, www.babrillianthuman.com, you can share the show notes to social media and make my day. Also, make sure you hit that follow button. And if you haven't yet downloaded the MPA process sheet, head on over to joelyoungmpa.com and get your free copy today. Big love and see you next time.